Right, David Bryant, looks like you had the lead early on. What happened? Did they say you crossed the starting lines early? No, uh, we're still waiting to hear. Some guys were saying they reviewed it, it was good. Other guys were saying, no, they haven't reviewed it, so I don't know. All right, so were you racing that race as if you were in it, though? Or did oh, you yeah. had a penalty? No, okay. I just, we didn't know, and I stopped once before when they gave me a penalty, and then they reversed it in a lot of positions, so I just figured we'll finish the race and see what happens after. Now, did anything happen to 37 when John Fiorette was out in front, and then it seemed you and the U6 were kind of together? The 37 kind of broke down, and then after all that happened, then it seemed you were kind of behind C. David. Tell me what was going on at that point. Yeah, when he broke coming out of the, the turn down there, he kind of broke and kind of went across the track, and I had to go all the way down to go around and see David. He kind of lost a lot of lanes there, but at that point he had me and we just kind of tried to stay with him. Well, that's just a bad break then, I mean, you yeah. to avoid that collision. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah. It's better than hitting him. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you know, depending on where you finish based on the penalty, you're pretty happy just with the overall way the way that we can win. Oh, tickled. The boat was unbelievable. We got a good start. If we missed it, we didn't miss it by much. Uh, the guys did a great job. We set them. That was hard water. The boat did unbelievable. All right, thanks a lot, David. Thank Brian. you, guys. This weekend's over. Pretty good one here for the U10. Back to you.